Patterson and Leitner continue to prove their worth as their goals lead us to first place at the end of last episode. Can we keep it up through the end of the season? Hey everybody, if you're new to this channel or you've been enjoying the content, feel free to subscribe and stay up to date. We got Newcastle up next, should be a winnable game, let's keep things going. This is a really important match for the team. Depending on results elsewhere, we could end up in first place with a win here. It's Aarons, kicks that ball out wide, Souza now. Looking for a cross, finds a beautiful pass through. Patterson can't make the most of it though, it's into the side netting. Good movement, good cross, but just lacking the final ball. Newcastle's turn now. On the other end, Shelby lays it off. Great one-two pass and it's a goal. It's a disappointing start from our team. I want to say poor defense, but that's honestly great offensive play there. Chance from the corner now. Comes in. No one gets on it though. Top of the box, Souza has it go, it's a goal. He doesn't score too many, but what a strike that was. Equalizes things in the 30th minute, and that could be up for contention for one of our goals of the season. The fans are going wild. He settles it quickly and does so well to get that shot up and over the keeper. Perfect technique. Newcastle now, off their own corner. Ball comes in. It's a header over Oxborough and in. Two to one, really disappointing. And there's just nothing we could do about that. Two men on him, just gets over both. And perfect ball through. It's still Newcastle now. Great ball, a shot, it's in the net. Three to one. It's Diego Costa, the odd signing who's actually been there for a few years in this career. Doing what he does best and finishing in close quarters. Mitchell, ball up top to Mangala. Souza waits for the overlap. Aaron's running onto it. Great chance. Lobs one through and it's cleared. Back at the top of the box though. Mangala has a shot. Deflected and out for a corner. And Newcastle still putting pressure on. They have given us a real run tonight. Mitchell clears. Down to Sargent, but it's one back. That's full time. They just seem to have wanted it more. Three to one and we drop points in a really important match. It's just a difference in quality out there. They finished all of their chances and we did not. Fossum still looking good in the midfield. I don't think we played all that bad overall. It's just lacking some quality on those final balls. I'm not too worried though. We got a lot of chances to prove ourselves through the end of the season, as long as we can hang on to a top four spot. It's a shame we couldn't get a win there because we have some really tough games coming up. Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool, and City all left to play, and we're going to need to get some results in these games if we want to stay ahead. First up, we gotta tackle Chelsea though. We've given him a hard time in the last season, and let's hope we can do it again. Here we are in front of the home fans against Chelsea. This is one of the most important matches of our season so far. We're in third, they're in sixth, only six points separating the sides. It's really a must-win game for us. It's a six-point swing if we lose this. Some real danger men in this side. Eden Hazard has been in great form. Five goals in his last three matches. Definitely one to watch out for. We got the ball to start, and here we go. Might be a chance opening up now. Puki lays it off. Mangala, great vision through. Hernandez in the back of the net. The opening goal, that is an outstanding strike. Everything about that was just perfect. Great run inside from the wing. Mangala with the vision to find the pass and what a finish. Hits that with an acrobatic scissor kick perfectly into the bottom corner. Nothing Keppa could do about that. He's not always our most clinical player, but he's coming up big when we needed it as so many of our other players are this season. A lot of game left to play, but that's a really bright start from the side. We just have to keep it up now. It's Chelsea now looking to get a chance of their own. Conte on the edge of the box. They're being patient. Possession a shot. Oxborough keeps it out. That was a great chance from the Blues. It's Pulisic on it. Corner coming in. It's headed at goal. Oxborough again keeps that one out. How many times is he going to save us this season? 
Another chance from a corner now, though. That ball whipped in. It's headed down. This time, he can't get on the end of it. It is the equalizer from Luis Suarez. Give him too many chances like that, and they will punish you. It's one-to-one -one about 30 minutes into the game. We're usually pretty good off of set pieces. But like I said, it's just a numbers game. You give them enough chances, and they'll finish one of them. Back to Oxborough now. It's cleared long. Patterson settles really well. Great pass to find Pookie. And a bit of a break on now. He finds Patterson over the top. Has a go. It's an outstanding goal for our second. Two to one. We go back in front. And who else but Patterson? He made the whole move himself. Great hold up play to find the ball to Pookie. And he makes a perfect run to get found on the end of that pass. And a perfect strike over his head to finish off the move. It's Hudson Adoy now against his side. Great layoff pass. He's so skilled on the ball, beats his man again. He's just toying with him, puts a ball in, and no one can get on it though. It's Kepa now looking to get this ball out. And it's full time. We come away with a win. I can't believe it. This could prove to be the defining moment of our season. We extend our lead over them to nine points and might just be a little safer for a Champions League spot with only a few games remaining at this stage. Our form just continues to build on itself. These players doing so much better than anyone could have predicted at the start of the season. Real shades of Leicester's title winning season here. I'm not sure we're actually in competition for the first place spot. But a Champions League spot would be so impressive regardless. The season's starting to wind down now and every game is going to count. Alright, there you have it. Patterson on 14 goals, second in the top scoring list. Although Kane does take that first place spot and he probably looks to hold it down too. Got a significant lead. Burnley are next opponents and Garcia asking to get on the field. I'm more than happy to put him in. He's grown a lot this season, and honestly, I think he's at the point he can overtake close anyways. I'm going to go ahead and sim this game just so we keep things moving. It should be a pretty easy one. And we do come away with a tight win. A little closer than I'd like, but Patterson and Pookie carry us through. Lov not happy with his role at the club. He's barely featured at all, but that's fine. He'll be leaving us at the end of the season regardless. I just want him for depth in case we need him. Arsenal up next, some more tough matchups. But the way we've been playing, honestly I'm not that scared of any team in the league. Aside from Spurs who have given us a few thrashings maybe. But I think we should be able to pull a result out here. Middleton on the bench, he's been playing well. And Godfrey gonna hold up for center back. Here we are, ready for the game. We are the best defensive team in the league. It's an outstanding turnaround for last season where we were leaking goals for fun. It's mostly down to Lovin's outstanding performances. Close has played well too, and we have some of the best fullbacks in the league. Aaron's in particular is such a special talent. Arsenal on the break now. Looking to cover some quick passing. We're having a hard time marking these men. A ball through. Perfect shot. El Nenny opens the scoring within 10 minutes. That is not the kind of start we wanted to this game. Ozo with the vision to find him. He is always a threat with those assists. We got to get back in this game real quick. Arsenal looking to grab a second. Great passing through. It's a shot from distance and it's a second. How have we conceded that? Lacazette with a laser from outside the box. I'm honestly just stunned. I don't even know how we concede that type of goal. Not too much you can do against that. Looking to grab a goal back now. Souza making a nice run. It's chipped up. Inside the box. Settled. Leitner has a go. Leno sees that one out though. Great save. Leitner still looking to be a big goal threat for us. Still looking for our opening goal. Pookie. Tries to get on that, but it's cleared. Substitutions now. It's Leitner and Pookie off. Sergeant on to find a goal. And Fossum to help with a bit of creativity. Some step overs out on the wing. Early ball in. 
We can't clear, it's really sloppy play, and it's a third goal for Arsenal. Ozil finds the back of the net, and this game just looks to be out of our reach now. Terrible play defensively. A little bit of time left now, it would take something really special for us to equalize. Sargent cutting inside though, has it go off the post! Great effort! And it's Arsenal now. Working their way around the edge of the box, it's a fourth! Awar with a strike from outside the box. He seems to punish us every single time we play Arsenal. What a player they have on their hands. I honestly thought we had them undercover defensively, but he still managed to get the shot off somehow around our center back. Just good passing play there. Finds the open man and bends it around. Running out of time here, and I don't think a comeback is possible at this point. Four goals. Maybe time for one more counter though, and there isn't full time, four to nothing, we are absolutely smashed by Arsenal. That comes at a terrible time when we need all of the points we can get to stay up, and at a stage when goal difference can actually make a difference, this one's gonna hurt in particular. Alright, Ben Godfrey is not happy with his role at the club. He hasn't been getting a lot of minutes and it's a tough one because I like him a lot as a player but I'm just not sure where he fits in between center back and defensive mid. He's been mostly used as a sub when we need him, but I'll try to incorporate him more in the future. All right, so big things coming up next. Six games left for us and it's gonna come down to the wire. Manchester United up next. They're in fifth place and it could be a huge match. So thanks for watching everyone. If you've been enjoying these videos, subscribe and stay up to date with the channel. Goes a long way to making this possible. And I will be back soon with updates on this series. I'm the Career Mode Expert, and I'll see you all next time.